Hi, I'm Jade and today we're going to open my first diamond dot square. I was watching, as I do, I watch so many diamond painting YouTubers. I swear I find a new one every week and I'm just like addicted and I watch all of their things. But I was watching Diamond and Washi, I think it was like a few weeks ago? Maybe a month ago, maybe more. And I don't know, I watch, I watch like all of her videos. So um, I was watching Diamonds and Washi and she did a review on Diamond Dot Squares. Uh, I think she did, maybe it was called Lazy River or something. I don't know, it was like a mountain view with like a river running between it. I am a huge lover of squares, if you are new to my channel. I only like squares. Uh, I will do rounds if it's a specific picture that I think will be a great grift. Grift? A grift? A great gift for others, but other than that, I don't really like rounds. They're I just don't like the thought of dust being in between the cracks. It bothers me. I decided because of her review, because I, I love the look of the like single faceted drills. I just think it's really pretty. So I was like, I definitely want to try that. But my local Joann's didn't have any except for like a walking tiger or jaguar or something like that. So I waited on it. And recently I went to my local Joann's and I found Autumn Wolf. I'll put a picture of it right here. And there was two other paintings, but it was like a street. And then there was the like mountain river thing, but they were all the same price. And this one was the biggest. So bang for your buck, girl, I'm gonna get the biggest one. Also, I think I talked later in this video that I also got it because it has a very Native American feel. And my aunt, she is very into Native American things because she's Native American and her whole house is like very much so in that theme like very warm autumn tones and like eagles and just things everywhere you know that's how her house is so i was like you know what i think she'll like it i hope you like it Didi. i'm going to review this yes there's no box that doesn't mean i actually looked at the quality or anything let's go down to my table and show you what i got just in case you have not been here before i do not store my canvases uh in their original boxes as soon as i get them home I take them out and I put them into a plastic sleeve or I just wrap the drills in the canvas as is. That's just what I prefer to do. So this is still an unboxing for me. I've just had it home for like a week in order for everything to fit in my stash and not be ridiculous with boxes everywhere of all different sizes. I just keep them like this. Although I will say the box that or the bag that it comes in is awful tight. So I'm going to cut it open instead of sliding it off since I am going to kit this up tonight anyway. Because I've just been so interested to see how the quality is for the square drills with diamond dots. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is my first look at the canvas, aside from like what you could see in the bag. All right. Oh, hey, get back here. Come here. Sorry, I dropped this on the floor and my puppy immediately took it and started running around with it. So also, if you hear any noise, that is my little pepperoni. She is now uh, three months old and we're dealing with her rambunctiousness, but that's okay. This canvas, I believe is called, yes, it's Autumn Wolf, Wolf, Autumn Wolf, Autumn Wolf. It's 57 times 42 centimeters for the actual design. Like I said, this is the first square canvas I've gotten from Diamond Dots. I'm just going to roll the sheet back so it gets all those ripples out because if I see that while I'm editing, it's just gonna bother me. Like, why didn't I just fix it? Okay, now she's all nice and flat. There was only a few square paintings available at my local Joann's. I know now you can actually buy from the Diamond Dots website, which I'm thinking of getting the little deer because I think she's adorable. But I wanted to see the quality and I had a coupon. So I got this, I believe it was $43.99. I used a 40% off coupon that I had on me. Ah, there we are. We can see the wolf. And I really liked all the warm colors. I am a big fan of warm colors. My aunt is very uh, into Native American things. Uh, she is Native American. She just collects things that, you know, represent 
native things. She likes big eagles and wolves and stuff like that. So I figured that she would enjoy this and I like finding paintings that I can give to people who will enjoy them because I do not have the space wall or otherwise to have diamond paintings everywhere so i figured this would be a nice painting to try while being able to gift it to somebody in the process diamond dots i have had trouble seeing some of the symbols i will say this one is much more clear i had done starry night and i had hated it so much not because of the quality or anything I can't stand working with a lot of blues and purples. Those are not my jam. So I gave the half or like two thirds completed canvas to my friend because she wanted to see if she liked diamond painting and she does, but I just couldn't. And I hate rounds. So it was just a whole mess for me. Since this has all the warm colors, I'm thinking I'll like this better. And now that they have square, I do hope eventually before I open this, I'm gonna say my little blurb. Uh, I do hope eventually that they start selling vials, like the Diamond Dots vials, this is rounds, of squares because I love squares so much and it'd be nice to have something that I can easily go to a craft store and purchase. I did email them asking them if that was in the plans. They said it's not planned for now. So like maybe if you want that too, email them so that they know there's an interest. I'm, I'm really hopeful that they will eventually because it'd be so nice to ha have nice quality drills available just at a store near you. It comes with a teal boat, which matches their whole design for squares. It is a teal greeny blue. So their boat matches that, comes with the squishy, a sparkly pen, and their typical wax and baggies. I have plenty of these, so I'm not going to open that. And we have our drills. One thing I've noticed, like a lot of people say, is that Diamond Dots has the best quality 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 round drills and I have to agree they're really nice um the worst thing that I ever see with them is sometimes the backs are overfilled instead of concave they're convex which as soon as you put them on the canvas you can usually tell because they start teetering and I'd rather have that issue than not be able to tell and then they just fall off my canvas after I've already finished it so that's not as big of an issue for me now let's see here I'm gonna zoom y'all in this is a light color and these look perfect. I see one piece of trash so far in this. Now let's go to a dark color. I'm pretty sure this is, this is a dark navy. And these are really nice. Everything that's pressed up against the bag looks completely perfect. These are like a mid-tone, nice autumn color. See, are there any more dark okay here's the equivalent to 310 and that looks lovely as well i don't even see any trash which for black that's crazy oh this just makes me want them to put able to buy in the vials so bad like could you imagine just a collection of squares if you're new here i don't like rounds i think i have maybe four or five in my stash I'm just not a huge fan of them. I, I don't like the sticky being exposed and then having to have to seal them or else it's going to bother me thinking dust collecting in the cracks. I just can't handle it. So squares are always my go-to. Also, I love the satisfying click of them fitting together that you don't really get with rounds. So there's that. Now, let's go back to the canvas so I can flip it around and show you the drills afterwards. So again, the symbols are extremely clear, which I did not have this experience with Starry Night. I noticed a lot of the ones on Starry Night were blurred. I did try that one like four months ago, five months ago. And I noticed that with uh, Diamond Dots, the worst like things on the drill field are usually the darker colors and I'm not noticing a lot of blurring or anything like that that I had noticed on the other canvas. It looks very clear, let's see. See, there are all of the darker colors and everything looks very clear, much more clear than 
my Starry Night had ever had. So I'm excited for that. Everything looks like it's going to be very easy to select. The grid is a nice mid-tone gray, so even with light colors, I don't think it's going to, you know, be too irritating, like if there is any gaps. And for the dark colors, that mid-tone gray blends in fine. It's not really an issue. So I think that will be wonderful. And I do think this is a cute picture, although I do wish they immediately put them into stores because I feel like it would show, you know, what they have available. Um, I think it was this, a view of a street and then um, like Mountain Valley. And I was just like, can, can, can we get something else? Now this is the typical Diamond Dots quality. Front, very fabric-like. Back, up, almost like a, I don't know how to explain it like tent like a tent almost waterproof feeling which i don't think is bad it's just you know it feels exactly like dreamer designs or diamond dots always does they're very similar almost interchangeable in my opinion now let's go through the drills we're gonna go through the colors because i think they're pretty i'm not gonna say the names because i don't have the attention span for that but i will show you all of the colors Nice browns, some grays, Ooh. these blacks, which are amazing quality, and all of these are so shiny. And this is going to have a lot of neutral tones because it is an autumn painting. I'm really loving the quality of the dark drills. So we're just gonna continue going through these colors. I'm not even sure if I showed these ones already, but you know, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna show you. Now, one interesting thing about Diamond Dot Squares is they all have the exact same facets. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. They all have the exact same facets, the same almost X pattern, which, is very different if you've ever done diamond paintings for most other places they have two different facets one where there's a square in the center and one where there's a diamond in the center but these are all diamond in the center but not even the same as diamond centered other drills more very natural tones as you should expect I love that little mustard. There's so much, so there's so little of it, but I love it. So nice. Oh, we got, we lost one. And again, the quality in these drills is fantastic. You can tell right away. I think in this whole thing, I've only seen one piece of trash. And we have a white AB, so sparkly. If you don't know what an AB is, it is just a normal drill with an iridescent coating, which I love when there's white ABs. And I think it only having one is nice, especially since this is a very natural uh, schemed painting. So I think that will complement the painting very well in just the highlights. Let's see where those ABs are. In case I didn't say there is 34 colors, uh, and the AB is all throughout here. There is some on the wolf, highlighting the face. I'm only really seeing it in the face. I don't see it in the body at all. There is some right here, so I think that's nice shiny patches in the back, but there is some all throughout the front of the face which I think will look really nice and not take too much away from the fact that this is supposed to be natural I mean even though it's gonna be insanely sparkly I think it'll still be nice and I might add some crystal drills I got these uh, crystal drills I got these crystal dr drills from shimmering canvases and I think that would look beautiful in the eyes and give it that kind of glowy effect that wolves have when they are 
in in the night getting something reflected in their eye. Sorry if I'm bit if I've been a little scatterbrained for this section of the video. I've been having to deal with family coming in and my dog, well my puppy acting crazy. My dog is actually being very nice. He's being a good boy, good little old man. So I'm going to kit this up and I will be back. I'm going to show a little section done so that you can see how the drills look with the facets. Um, Cause I want you to be able to see that if you are considering getting a diamond dot square to see if like that's something you'd like. But I will be back when I kit this up and I will be able to show you that section, a section done so you can see what I'm talking about with the drills. I'm going to show you my little practice square that I said I was going to do, it's like three inches by three inches. And let me say, girl, I'm impressed. Hold on, let me show you. I gotta put you down. I gotta put you down. Also, okay, look, I love the shimmery effect of them all being the same facet. I just, oh, I really hope Diamond Tots ends up making squares eventually. I know they emailed me and said that they didn't plan on it, but please email them if you want their squares. Cause like, that's, oh, it's so beautiful. I love that. Also, let me see if I can get it close. I don't really see any gaps. I'd say it's a, a, equivalent to the gapping you would get at Darm Diamond Art Club, which like is hardly any. And usually it's just cause like you squished them together a little too much. So I'm super impressed. And if they like broaden their um, like squares collection, I'm gonna be collecting them. If only they did customs. I swear, if Diamond Art Club or or uh, Diamond Dot Squares did customs, ooh, gr your girl would have way too much. Way too fucking much. Cause look at how shiny! I love it! I, and also I like it when it's like, it, it's, cause since it's single faceted, it doesn't sparkle like the same way as like d different faceted ones because it's it's only catching one frame of light so you can almost see the picture better which i think is really great for like the more natural things that uh diamond dots tends to do um also i want to get the little fawn i think i'm gonna buy it so overall i'm super impressed also i tried can you relax i tried a new um kit up system also, I, I believe I did get the tip from, it might have been Tiny Worlds of Wonder or it might have been Diamonds and Washi, but they uh, scan their schematic and then use the Xeron sticker maker. I got the white one. Um, and that made kidding up way easier than uh, using my label maker to try and finagle all of the symbols, which it never has all of them. You always got to right at one. Can you stop chewing on my fingernail, please, ma'am? But I, I don't know how I feel about TikTok, TikTok, Tic Tac containers, because I spilled drills three times already. And with my normal system, let me show you. I got it in a drawer right here. With my normal system, I use this. And I know a lot of people don't like it because they can't fit as many, but I don't mind having them in multiple little squares. I've spilled, I think, twice the whole time I've used those and I've been diamond painting for six months. So, but overall super impressed. I'm so excited to, when this is done, to see how it shimmer. I love the type of shimmer it has. This just, you, go, you gotta make squares, diamond dots. You gotta do it. You gotta do it to, oh, my, my dress matches the painting. Look at that, I didn't even do that on purpose. It, well, I mean, it kinda does. So, I think that's all for my thoughts on the diamond dot squares so far. Very impressed. Um, I will for sure show more of this when it's finished. I will do a review, which I need to do reviews for the paintings I've finished, but like I suck at recording and posting because I have to edit myself because I'm like, Jesus Christ, Jade, you talk too much. But maybe I won't because some people like to have mindless chatter in the background, so maybe they'll like hearing me. But yeah, overall, super impressed, super happy. So if you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, whether it be vintage, curly hair, sewing related, please sting that like and subscribe button, become a member of my hive, and you can be one of my little honeybees. And I'd be so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. See you next time, bye. <laughs>
Hey, just popping in here at the end to sorry if you hear my dog's squeaker toy. I'm trying to keep her calm and this is the only way is holding her toy right here. She's connected to the end of that. Uh, but I wanted to come in here at the end and tell you guys who the winner is. So actually the winner is me. Um, I thought it was hilarious that the first time I pressed a uh, random pick it was my comment which was the example comment so obviously i'm not keeping the painting um but when i pressed it again we got emerald and fairy lights which i actually follow her on instagram so that's kind of cool and don't worry if you didn't win this i'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways because i have tons of paintings that i need to not have uh so you guys will reap the benefits of that um but thank you so much for entering the giveaway and stay tuned because there is going to be plenty to come thank you so much i appreciate you all being here and uh, emeralds and fairy lights, I'm gonna DM you on Instagram.